my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Amanda and today I'm going to be doing my prom look number two for you guys. This video and my last prom video are sponsored by Windsor. They were sweet enough to send me two dresses that I picked out that I fell in love with when I tried them on in the store and so I'm creating looks around them for you guys. If you guys are deciding to go to prom last minute or you're just looking for a cheap prom dress, Windsor is really great. They have their prom dresses for around like $30 to $50, like super, super affordable. I paid like hundreds for my prom dresses, so like if I knew that they had such cute ones, I would have absolutely looked there. Today's look is around this dress that you guys have probably seen on my Instagram. I wore it out to Evan's formal, so I will clip in some pictures of me wearing it there. I'm going to recreate a look for you guys around this dress. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, be sure to just keep on watching. Alright guys, I'm so excited to test out. I just got a bunch of products. I went to Sephora and Ulta and Target. And I got some stuff. In my last video, I felt like I was very unprepared when I was showing you guys stuff. I was saying like, oh, I would rather have this, but I don't. So, last night, while I was self-tanning, I was watching a Jaclyn Hill video, her April favorites, and I decided I was going to try out some of the things that she showed. A lot of the stuff that she tried, I wanted new products of anyway, so she just, you know, helped me figuring out exactly what I wanted. I brought a few things that I use. I was telling you guys, again, in my prom looks number one video about whitening your teeth, using a self tanner, keeping yourself moisturized, stuff like that. So I brought in some of my favorite products that I wanna show you guys that I use to help do that. So for my self tanner, I applied it last night. I haven't gotten a shower yet. That's why my hands are a little bit crazy. The hands are always the worst, hardest part for me. And the rest of it, it will shower off much more even once I take a shower, but like I said, need to wait for 24 hours so it has not been 24 hours yet so I have been loving the St. Marie's um, tanning mousse I use it in the color dark and I'm fairly pale I feel like I might like the lighter one better but this one I feel like stays on me for a longer period of time if you use a light hand it doesn't come out crazy if you do use a dark or like a heavy hand it does come out a little bit too much um, especially on the face but Last night, I used a very light hand. I scrubbed a lot beforehand and I moisturized and it really helped me. I've also found that putting this on my face before I put the tanner on really helps me out. This is the Patchology Daily Gel Moisturizer and this is the Aqua Flash. And this is like a, it's a moisturizer, but I feel like I usually use it as like a face mask and just like really like put it heavy on and then I sleep with it usually. This was sent to me in a box. I just wanna give them a quick shout out just because they never tell me that I have to show any of the stuff they send me. They just send me this stuff for my own personal use. And I've only tried two of the products they've sent me but they sent me two big boxes that I really just wanna try everything out because I really liked the two products that I've used from them. So the this is um, Push the Envelope box. They send you a bunch of like beauty face stuff it's just like really awesome they sent me a box for valentine's day and then they sent me a box just for fun like in april and they said for spring break so two of the products that i've really really liked are this um this works really well it's very very moisturizing i have very dry skin so i find this really helps and it works really really nicely with the fake tan on my face because i found that if i use more of like a water-based moisturizer it helps blend better and it's not necessarily as like heavy and it like stops the tan from working. So I really like that. Another thing that I think has been really helping keep my skin clear is this Bioderma Micellar Water. I use this to take off my makeup. I used to religiously use the Neutrogena makeup removing wipes. I like swore by those. I wouldn't use anything but them. But I decided to give this a try. I just put some of this on like a little cotton pad. Takes your makeup right off and it leaves you feeling really, really clean. I thought that the Neutrogena wipes left me feeling a little bit oily, even though they were oil-free, supposedly. This has really helped keep my skin clear, I think. I really, really like this. As you can see, I've already used like half a bottle. And so if you're looking for like a good face wash, it's sensitive skin, non-rinse, paraben-free, hypoallergenic. I really, really like this and I would give it a try. I can try to link that down below for you guys if you want. All of these products I'm going to use, I will try to link down below. I didn't do that in the other video, but 
I'll be trying to do it in this for you guys. Then for teeth whitening, you guys, I get so many questions about this. It's crazy. And I don't really have a, like a religious teeth whitening routine, but these are the things I use, which I guess help me. Um, I like to use the Crest 3D White Toothpaste. And then I have just recently purchased this um, from Amazon. This is just the Dent Prep Activated Charcoal Teeth Whitening Powder. I ordered this on Amazon, like I said, and I just brush my teeth with that for like two minutes and then brush my teeth regularly afterwards. And it seems to work pretty well. So like I said, I will try to link everything down below for you guys. Oh, and also when you're self tanning, definitely recommend using a tanning mitt. I just bought another one because mine was gross and ripping. So that really, that helps a lot when you're putting it on. Like always, I'm gonna start by spraying my face with my Mario Badescu rose water. Next, I'm going to be going in with my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Just set a nice moisturizer down. I also really love that product. Definitely try that out. It helps hydrate dry parched skin, it relieves minor irritation due to eczema and other conditions. For the face and elsewhere um no parabens harsh chemicals or colorants i really like it i feel like it's helped me keep my skin clear as well and also moisturized which both i have a little bit of a hard time doing next i'm going to be going in with the professional primer by benefit and just putting this all over my face so i know my hands are gross so um no need to comment I'm well aware. Also, I get a lot of questions about the jewelry I'm wearing, so I'm just gonna go over that really quick. The ring that I'm wearing on this hand right here is from TJ Maxx. This ring's from TJ Maxx, and this is like a knockoff um, Cartier ring. My watch is from Mark Bale from the Peach Box. Hopefully you can see it. This is my Delta Gamma bracelet. This is by Spell On Me. Now they are, they changed the name of their brand. Um, it's gonna bug me now. I'm not sure. This is a Michael Kors bracelet and then this is also from the Mark Bale collection from the Peach Box. And this is from H&M. My earrings are just basic. So I don't have much redness today, but I'm still gonna go in a little bit in just the very few spots that I do. Cause we don't want that. Again, this is just my LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, High Definition Concealer, and this is in the color Green Corrector. Going in with my Dampy Beauty, Dampy Beauty and Blender. Yep, <laughs> Dampy Beauty and Blender. <laughs> oh, Dampy Beauty and Blender. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> Dampy Butte and Blender. Dampy Butte and Blender. Don't forget to dampy your Butte and Blender, y'all. <laughs> I hate myself. So, one of the first things I'm really excited to try is this Dior Skin Forever foundation. I really hope it matches my skin, guys. I tried out so many different colors on my hand that I really didn't even know what color I was anymore. So... I hope this is okay. I got it in, this is the Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen. This is in the color 33. I think they said it was the color beige apricot. Apricot beige. I guess the English version is apricot beige. Where's my phone? Hello? I hear texting. I am going to go in with this on my beauty blender. And we're gonna hope and pray that it matches. Okay, not horrible. Actually, I'm, I'm happy. Shocking. I was a little bit nervous, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I tried so many colors. And I was going between sand and this apricot. It's a little perfumey smelling if you're sensitive to that. I don't really care that much, but I know like some people like my mom like could not wear this. It kind of reminds me of like a cucumber melon smell, but like a cucumber melon perfume, if that makes sense. 
Alright, so now I'm going to be going in with my concealer. I got some more Tarte Shape Tape. Also, Evan's heard me talk about this like for two hours today, so he can just ignore me, but... Did you guys know that this was an Ulta exclusive? Was I the only one that like didn't know that? I like really had no idea. Like I went to Sephora and I looked around the Tarte stand for like two hours and I was like, where is the shape tape? How do they not have shape tape? And then I finally asked the woman and she was like, oh, that's an Ulta exclusive. We wouldn't have that here. So I was like, <laughs> what? So I'm going in with my Tarte shape tape. This is in the light medium honey color and I'm just gonna go and highlight my face. highlights right here that I've never tried so we're gonna give it a shot today also um I'm like really really loving this foundation like I don't know if I've ever said that just ignore cameraman Evan over here oh man we gotta get him in Billy you're so cute oh my god hi honey hi honey I have the cutest pig ducks, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, this is good. Billy will make the video. You're so cute, you honey. Okay. You're so cute, honey. Everyone loves Bill. I'm pretty sure everyone only watches my channel for Billy. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm fine with it, I understand. Guys, I really like this foundation. I don't know if I've ever said that. Like, I'm serious. I don't know if I've ever said it and like meant it. Not this much. Swaggy, man. Okay, now we're gonna go in and contour. Hopefully I don't mess it up because this is like a janky product and I'm using nice products now. Not janky. And I shouldn't say that. Just not high qual, you know? It's fine, but it's not top shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> so, I know you guys are excited for this. I'm pretty excited as well because I won't get any hate <laughs> this time. I got a new powder brush. You guys have been yelling me to get a new one for years now. I'm not throwing the other one away. I, we have a connection, so I'm not, but I got a new one. This is the Morphe M527, and I went to go get a new powder today, but they were sold out. I really wanna get the Hourglass Veil powder. Jacqueline was ranting and raving about how it's the most beautiful powder she has ever seen, so I wanna give it a try, but like I said, they were all sold out, so I'm gonna have to order it. So I'm still using the e.l.f. powder. I didn't want to go and buy the other one that I was telling you guys about yesterday because, like I said, I want to buy the Hourglass one. And it's, like, not that cheap. So I'm, like, I'm, like, living for this foundation, guys. Like, seriously, I'm so happy with it. I'm, like screaming okay this powder is it's fine but it's not making it's not adding to the look if you know what i'm saying guys it's really hard to distract when billy's sitting right next to me because he's just like wicked cute okay, right and evan is just as obsessed with billy as i am so like i tr i like try to stay in my zone and then evan's like pointing at him and it's just doesn't make my life easy by any means. Okay, seriously, wow. This, this, not powder, not the powder. This foundation, guys, I highly recommend. If you're looking for like a full coverage, um, high-end foundation, try it out. I really love it. I'm 
not telling you what I'm doing with my face. I apologize. This is the Too Faced Light Medium Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I just did a little bit of a light overview of that. What am I even saying? I have no idea. Just ignore me and pretend I'm speaking English. Okay. Maybe you should tell me before you're gonna like cut into the background so I can not talk. No. Yeah, you're not though. Sorry. So now I'm going in with the Medium Deep Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer and gonna warm up the same places that I contoured. I'm much more tan today for this look, so my face is going to be a little bit darker. Yesterday I used that really light foundation, so it was kind of like a lighter look, you know? I don't recommend doing makeup with a necklace on, but here I am, doing it with a necklace on. Also, oh my gosh, that nose contour yesterday? When I was editing, I was like, huh, oh, oh, help. Oh. So we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen today. It was so not blended. It got better towards the end, but I don't know how. I didn't fix it myself. Also, I got another hula bronzer because as you guys saw, I was uh, almost out. And I didn't wash my brushes yet. Um, washing them right after this, actually because my I was supposed to do um, my brother's girlfriend's makeup like I told you guys in my last video but then we had like a tornado <laughs> touchdown near here so um, she decided not to come which is um, completely understandable so we're doing it after this tonight so I have to wash these and I'm gonna have to like dry them afterwards too so they're all set and ready for her. I'm nervous guys I've never done anyone's makeup before and I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. Did I already do this over here? I don't remember. We're gonna go again. <laughs> or bronze. Bronze babies. Alrighty, so now that we're all bronzed up, I'm gonna go ahead and do some highlight and con- and not contour, we already- we already contoured way more than enough. I'm gonna go in and use some blush and highlighter. Today I'm gonna use you, I'm gonna use you guys. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna use the other highlighter that I told you guys about in my Prom Looks 1 video. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. This is my other favorite highlighter. The other one that I showed you guys yesterday was the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the color Be My Highlight. This one is more of a champagne-y color. This one is more golden. I told you guys I usually prefer the champagne color, but because I didn't show you guys this one, I wanted to do that. So, I am going to go in and I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. Look at that baby glow. Going really carefully, just on the bridge of my nose here. This one is very, very glowy. I feel like this would be very pretty for prom. I haven't used this one in a while. Kind of forgot how much I loved it. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Milani Baked Blush in the color 5 Luminoso and adding this to the apples of my cheeks. So now I'm going to go on to brows. I know yesterday I kind of like did everything in a weird order, but today we're going to do brows first. So again, I'm going to be using my NYX Professionals Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. And actually, I did tell you guys that I was going to use my pomade, so I'll do that as well. I always use both when using the pomade. I always like to start in the front with just the brow pencil to kind of get the shape going. And then I like to use the tip of this brow pencil to kind of create the tail of the brow. But then the rest of it I'm going to go in with the pomade. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Caramel. 
their pencil version of this comes out a little bit lighter but it's a little bit darker in the pan and it goes pretty well with this color brow pencil from NYX. And then I'm also going to be using this Luxie brush, the 215 small angled brush. I like this one better than brow brushes, it just works well for me. I'm going to be going in and kind of creating a solid line for the arch. I always like to go back in with the spoolie and brush this out lightly to blend everything together because the pomade can kind of bunch up in some spots and you don't want a super stuck together look in my opinion anyway and then I always go back in with the pencil and sometimes you need to underline a little bit I said that again I don't know why I'm saying underline said that in the last video too just to kind of perfect the outline of your brow so they're definitely not perfect again keep in mind they're sisters not twins but I hope you can see here better that when you use the pomade it's more of like a perfect line I guess on the top there's no stroke marks like there are when you use only the pencils so if you want more of that like perfected together look I would go with this so next we're gonna go in and do the eye look so today I am going to be using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I hope a lot of you guys have this if not you can find other palettes that work well together I tried to use a palette yesterday that I felt like a lot of people would have Today, this is just one of my favorite palettes of all times. I think it's just really beautiful, so I wanted to go ahead and use this one. Today's look, I'm going to add a little bit of color into this. Still nothing crazy, but I wanted to do a little bit more something than we did yesterday just because we kept it pretty simple yesterday, so today is for you color lovers out there. This is the dress I'm going to be wearing. It's this like pretty tealish bluish color, so we're going to go and try to add some of that color in with the eye today. Still nothing crazy. I don't want to do like a full like blue eyelid because I think that that would just take away from the dress and it would just kind of be crazy with pictures if you are going to prom and wearing this look. So uh, we're going to try to incorporate a little bit, but nothing too crazy so first I'm gonna be going in with this color right here and I'm just gonna be blending that into my crease for a nice transition color this is my favorite color in the palette I'm sure you guys can see because it's I've hit pan quite some time ago Next, I'm going to be going in with this color right underneath here, and I'm just going to be following that in my crease as well. This is probably my second favorite color in the entire palette. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer to the lid. I'm going to go in with both of these colors here. I can't decide which one I like more, to be completely honest with you. That's why we're going in with both. And I'm just going to apply this onto my lid. I just also picked this product up today. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Spray. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to spray my brush with this so we can pick up some pigment. And I'm just going in with both of these. Really, really helps pick up that pigment. So when you look like a clown, you know you're doing it right. Um, now I'm going to go back in with those two colors we started with and just blend them into the crease again because I don't want any of this shimmer into the crease. This is also going to fall down onto the lid and make it a little less crazy looking. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of this first color in the palette on my finger and I am just going to brighten up my inner corner a little bit. 
I told you guys in the last look, I never really love when I go crazy with the inner corner highlight, so we're trying to blend it out as much as possible. Alrighty, so my camera kept overheating and dying and stuff, so I gave it a few seconds to breathe, cool down. So I finished one eye. It looks a little crazy right now, obviously, with only one done, but this is going to be the final eye look. So we're going to go in now with this beautiful green color down here. We'll be taking this little elf brush here. Again, it doesn't say the name of it. I'm just going to be taking this color lightly on my brush and I'm going to be dragging it underneath my lash line. This color is extremely pigmented, but that's okay. We're just going to keep blending it out. And I like when it comes kind of like far down because I think it makes your eye look bigger so like I said it's gonna look a little crazy before you put eyeliner and everything on but it's okay we'll be okay then I'm just gonna take this clean brush right here and I am just going to blend this color out so it's not as harsh And notice how I'm not putting it in the inner corner right here, only into the outer and almost into the inner corner. So now we're done with the eyeshadow. Now we're on to eyeliner. I tried out a white eyeliner while I was waiting for you guys. This is the product I got at Target. And it is like shiny, first of all, which I don't like. Um... And I just, I don't know. I don't know if white liner just doesn't work with me or if it's the fact that it's shiny and I didn't really like it. It just wasn't a good look for me. So we're going to go in with the OG Alme eyeliner. And I am going to be lining my entire waterline. I know we're going a little cray. I haven't done this since like 8th grade. And I'm going all the way into my inner corner. Obviously... If you don't like eyeliner all the way on your bottom line, you can just forget about that. And I'm also going to be putting it on my entire tight line as well. Next, we're on to curling lashes. Again, this is by the Tweezer Man. I'm just gonna go in and curl these puppies here. Get those puppies in order. Get those puppies in order. And then I'm going to be applying the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Cannot get it on your eyelid. I don't know why there's like a crease on my eyelid right now. Like it looks like I stuck my nail in my eyelid, but I don't think I did. So see, once you put the bottom mascara on in the eyeliner, the green looks a little less crazy. So now we're gonna go in with my lashes. These are the Arison lashes. These are in the number DOA. I told you guys about these yesterday. I put the picture in, in my prom number one clip of me wearing these lashes. You guys have had a ton of questions about these. These are some of my favorites that they have sent me. So I'm going to go and throw those on. And these are already cut because I've already worn them. Most of their lashes do need to be cut for me anyway. And I do have fairly big eyes. I don't usually need to cut any other brand of lash. But I guess that's good for people that have very large eyes. Okay, so you guys might hate me because I'm using the same lipstick as I did for my prom one video, but I just think nude lips are just the way to go, um, especially when you're using like a colorful eye like this. Not that it's like crazy colors or anything really, but um, I think nude is just the way to go, and this is just one of my favorite nude colors of all time, so I'm going to be putting this on. If you guys are not into wearing lipstick, because I know lipstick can get, you know what, we're going to do something else. I changed my mind. If you guys want to go really basic, I know sometimes lipsticks can be annoying to wear all night because you have to worry about reapplying them. I'm not a huge lipstick person, to be completely honest, for that reason. 
Especially because I always have to ask Evan if my lipstick is on and he gets annoyed. So, if you are looking for a really nice nude color, I do suggest the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. I really, really love this color. It's a really beautiful color. If you want to see that on my lips, literally check like any Instagram post and my last prom looks video. I'm wearing it in that video. If you guys want to go for a gloss, this Buxom Gloss in the color White Russian is also very beautiful. I can put that on my lips quick to show you guys. Okay, so this is the Buxom Gloss in White Russian. This also is a lip, um, what's it called? Plumper as well. So it does tingle a little bit if you don't love that feeling. This is not for you, obviously. I do like to pat it around a little bit with my finger, as you guys saw, because it does come out very, like, filmy looking almost. Um, it's just a very thick gloss. So, and also... Because this is a gloss, it is a little bit sticky, so if you're not into that, I would also stray away. But this is easy to just like go the rest of the night with. If it comes off, you don't necessarily have to keep like reapplying it because you won't be able to tell as much when it wears off versus like a lipstick. Also, I am just trying this out. This is another product that Jaclyn Hill recommended in her video. This is the Kopari Lip Glossy in the coconut oil. I don't know if they have another flavor of this. I didn't see another one, so I just went with this one. She said it is like to die for. I threw it on my lips earlier. It makes your lips look very wet, like you have a gloss on, but it is not sticky. So if you just want to add like a little bit of shine to your lip, definitely try that out. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but she said it's completely worth the money. She literally cannot live without it now because her lips get so dry when she doesn't wear it compared to any other chapstick. So it's kind of a gloss and a chapstick built in one. You can use it for everything and yeah. So try that out if you're looking for something to go on your lips but don't necessarily want like a gloss or a lipstick. So for hair, I'm just gonna leave this down straight. Like I said, I already wore this dress, Tavin's Formal, and right after I curled my hair, I immediately regretted it. I wish I kept it straight. So I am just gonna touch up my hair. It's already pretty much straight from doing so earlier today, but I am just going to straighten this. Obviously, curled hair is pretty big for prom, so if you want to do that, that's fine as well. That makes it a little more fancy. I kind of went more like. Hopefully you didn't just hear my bathroom fan. I was like, what is that noise? So, like I said, if you guys want to curl your hair, obviously go and do that, but for this dress particularly, I think I would have just liked my hair better if I left it straight. So that's what I'm going to do. I can't show you guys any crazy updos because I just simply don't know how to do them. I'm not going to try and pretend like I do because I just don't. So we are just going to leave this straight. And I'm going to throw on the dress and I will be right back. forgot to film the intro and outro to this video so now that I'm a little sweaty from vacuuming up my house this is the final look for this second prom look I almost forgot to finish all of my makeup with my Kat Von D lock it spray Sam said she really loves this stuff so we are gonna give it a shot and hope that I love it too. You guys will have updates on that I'm sure. If you guys are going to prom I hope you guys have the best time ever. Tag me in your photos. I want to see how beautiful you guys look. So if you guys do not follow me on my social media already be sure to do so. Everything is always linked down below and pretty much on everything I am Amanda Louise YT without fail. So be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'm trying to get more into I'm not sure if I'm gonna succeed, but we'll see. Go at Amanda Louise YT as well, and I'm doing a giveaway. If you guys haven't seen this video already, I will have it linked up here for you guys, so you can go and check that out, find out all the rules. Basically, just follow me on Doe and you're entered. If I hit a thousand followers by June 15th, I believe the date is that I gave you guys, then I'm going to double the price to $200, so be sure to go and follow me on Dote to be entered to win that. If you guys are not subscribed already, be sure to click that button down below or this button right here. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.